Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Balram Prasad and I am working with Microsoft as a senior software engineer. In this video, we are going to create Azure Databricks workspace using Azure portal. And this video will be the first video of Azure Databricks playlist. I had recorded Azure Databricks related video previously also, but that was separate demo. But this will be a playlist where we will start from how to create Azure Databricks workspace, how to create cluster, how we can do SQL related thing, how we can do data engineering related things, how we can play along with machine learning inside Azure Databricks. So let's start with Azure portal first. So a couple of years back, I had recorded a video where I created Azure Databricks. From that point of time, lot of feature has been added into Azure Databricks. So right now I am into Azure portal and I will go into my subscription and then resource group. So I have lot of resource group created for different demos and different resources created. So let me create one Azure Databricks resource. I will go to marketplace and I will search with Azure Databricks. Then I will click on create. And we have to provide a name over there. <coughs> After providing name, we have to provide which region we are going to create this one. So I will keep this to this. Then we have to provide pricing tier where which pricing tier we want to go with that one. So we can go with uh, a standard one for this demo or premium or trial. But I'm going with right now with a premium one and then we will see that one. The another field is optional field which is managed resource group name. So when we create Azure Databricks resources and create cluster inside that one, it will create a managed resource group where cluster related resource will be kept. So I will keep it blank uh, and Databricks will decide a name and create that. After that, we can go to networking where we can play with different settings for networking. If, if we wanted to put this uh, Databricks into virtual network for security purpose, and then also we can go for more of the details like if we wanted to use our own key for encryption and other things, that details will be there. If you wanted to include double encryption for DVFS route, so that also is now provided. Once we are done with that, uh, we can provide some tags or we can go and review and create. Once the validation is succeeded, we can create this. It will take some time, then we will go inside Azure Databricks and see how it looks like. As we can see that our deployment is completed. Let me click on go to resources. We can see this few more details where that managed resource group is that name. This is the URL from where we will go and log in. What is the pricing tier? All the details will be coming here. Let me click the launch workspace. This is the default page of Azure Databricks workspace where we can play a lot of different things. We can bring our own data and play. We can see that how to connect with different data sources. We can in left side, we can see the menu where workspace related things will be there. We can create notebook, we can connect with the repo and other details. The catalog is coming here where a lot of things we can see in the next videos. Workflow where we can create different jobs, we can schedule and play along that one. Compute is the place where we can create the different type of compute in clusters. The next section is that people who are going to work on SQL related things. So now this UI provides the SQL editors, uh, different queries, dashboard we can do, all the query related history will come, what is the SQL warehouse and other things we will see in the next videos. And the next is data engineering related things where we can have jobs and other things, how we can ingest the different data sources. So we can see that a lot of new integration has been built around this one. And we will slowly look into this one that how to integrate from the different sources. Then there is for machine learning, there are different 
options are there so now data bricks supports multiple role right sql related developer can come and play along this one data and then data engineering related people can come and do their work machine learning developers can come ml engineers can come and write the machine learning algorithms machine learning model they can build that one and all this is supported inside the data bricks itself and then after that one we have marketplace also built inside if we wanted to see what are the different models like FITO model is there and other models are there what we wanted to leverage other details we have all this coming from marketplace lot of different partners has created lot of different plugins lot of different connectors lot of different solutions so we can use that and uh, what are the different partners connect we have we can also see that one this is how new work space for Azure Databricks looks like and in next upcoming video we are going to create compute we are going to play with SIG and we will do some data engineering related stuff so how to ingest data and other things we will see that one thank you